Scott and I talked yesterday, and I thought, you know, we need to shut him down to see if he could get back to have one more run for us. And, uh, you know, I, I hope he does, but I don't know if we can count on that, quite frankly. Um, so that's kind of where we're at with Scott, you know, and I talked to our team about that yesterday before practice. And, you know, we're probably reinventing a little bit, um, you know, right now with rotation and front line. And I think all options are open with uh, the guys that are at our uh, disposal. Reinvention was a key phrase for head coach Mike Bray and the Notre Dame men's basketball team last week. Recovery from an uncharacteristic double-digit defeat at home to Georgetown on January 21st, the team's third loss in four games became even more complicated when senior captain Scott Martin was sidelined indefinitely with soreness in his reconstructed left knee. With a handful of candidates available to replace Martin in the starting lineup, Coach Bray made it clear during his weekly teleconference that he was searching for someone to step up and take ownership of the spot. I think I have to have a really open mind to that, and it could be a revolving door. If, if, if somebody jumps up there and, and takes that, and that, that's how we play with that group, like we played with Martin with those five um, on our best nights, great. But I, I think I'm going into it thinking... You know, in practice yet, we're looking at everybody in a gold shirt with those four other guys. By the time the Irish flew down to USF, the coaching staff had settled on senior Tom Knight to step into the spot vacated by Martin in the starting five. It was a choice to go big against the USF front court that had seen its share of rebounding problems throughout the season and a nod to Knight's work in practice and knowledge of the team system. Uh, I'm just expecting to come up with energy, uh, provide a team with the energy that we need to do succeed and, you know, just be there for the team. So you remember when you came to my office on media day and said you have not interviewed me once and I said do something and I would? Uh, I what? mean, <laughs> uh, I said you haven't, me, you, haven't, you haven't interviewed me on media day yet and that still is the case because today <laughs> is not media day, unfortunately. <laughs> but the change in the starting lineup was only the beginning of the team's reinvention instituted by the coaching staff last week. Improved team rebounding, a focus on setting better off the ball screens and pushing a quicker tempo on offense were key parts of the team's game plan, laid out during a meeting at the hotel and before tip-off in the Sun Dome locker room. I'm really excited to see us play tomorrow and, uh, because I've been really impressed with how we have focused on reinventing ourselves, especially on the offensive end. Here it is again. You know, what they really want to get back to is, you know, Collins in a ball screen at the right entry. Glad show just be in a position to guard him on the drives. You get a team about that. He's a guy that really likes to probe. He stays low, loves to split ball screens. That's why we're going to flat show and I'll let him get an angle into our paint. Stir him up, man. I am so excited to watch us churn how we've been working on it in our reinvention plan of screening and helping each other, okay? And then we talked about this last night. On that backboard, let's have those guys that should be offensive. You are never too far to go to the board. If you're at the three-point line after a ball screen, or you see a shot going up, I gotta see this. If we don't get that, I think you're tired. We gotta get a fresh body in there to do that, okay? Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Uncharacteristic hot three-point shooting from USF in the first half led to an uneven performance by the Irish in the first 20 minutes, but one player stepped up to keep Notre Dame within striking distance, the newest member of the starting lineup. Connaughton, another three on the way. It is no good. Rebound, Cooley. No, that's Knight with the rebound up and good. Tom Knight going to the glass, and the Irish lead 5-3. Here's Knight working to the post. Smooth left-handed shot for the senior. Baseline jumper is off the glass and short. Rebound, Knight spinning, puts it up and in. Tom Knight having the game of his Notre Dame life. And the Irish are back on top by three at 26-23. Harry finds Knight. Tom Knight having a big first half for the Irish. Yeah, best game of the year so far. Keeps crashing and clawing, man. We got to be better guarding guys off the dribble, though. That's killing us. We got to be better guarding guys off the dribble. And, you know, guys are going by us too easy. Our closeouts are so weak, whether we're in 11 or 23. Got to be better at that. Got to be better at that. All right? Keep moving them around. We've gotten some great looks. 
We'll make those in the second half. We we got we were in such a good rhythm early because we were screening. Then we got away from it a little bit and started cutting again. And that kind of changed. Keep screening, keep moving. We can throw it to the post in screening pairs and squeeze and do all that. And we'll get the ball screen late in the possession. We can get the ball screen. Coming out of the halftime locker room down by seven points, the Irish ripped off a 20-3 run to seize control of the game, highlighted by impressive plays from Tom Knight and Jaron Grant. There's Brock and he's blocked by Knight. Grant in transition to Atkins, no good. And Connaughton there to clean up. Grant right down the middle of the lane, off the glass. And follow slam by Tom Knight. Career high, 10 points for Tom Knight. And another timeout by Stan Heath as the Irish lead at 45-40. Grant around the screen from Cooley. Grant gets into the lane, double pump shows it off the glass, and then he gets fouled. Jaron Grant. Knights through the lane for a huge hoop and a chance for the three-point play. On the left, it goes to Grant. 3-2, step back jumper from 18, swish! Jaron Grant with an outstanding under-the-gun, one-legged step back jumper. 71-61, Irish by 10. And now Knight gets the lead-out pass for the power. Tomahawk slam, somehow fitting that Tom Knight gets to put the icing on this Notre Dame victory cake. The eight-point victory moved the Irish to 16-4 and four overall this season, 4-3 and three in conference play, and for Mike Bray, a solid first step toward his team's reinvention. Where's Craig? Are you? Ah! Come on, sneak. That's a hell of a, hell of a job, man. What, how about our defense in the second half? What they score, 28, 25? We did a great job on Collins. Really big time defensively, and I love how we got out and ran and churned them up. Tom Knight, so proud of you. You know, uh, but you know what? We're not surprised, right? We're not surprised. This guy's been a key guy in our program for a long time. And I'm very proud of our group because at halftime, you know, we could have thought maybe not today down here in Tampa. I thought we really defended in the second half, did a better job on Collins. Uh, certainly Tom Knight's lift was great, uh, becoming a starter. I thought his block shot was a key part of the game. And we were able to get stops and get in transition and get some easy baskets that kind of jump-started us offensively. Oh.